Hello everyone, Silvercon Trail here. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about a new program which has come out, and it's for those of you with NVIDIA cards, or if you don't have a video card from NVIDIA and you're thinking about upgrading, uh, this may convince you to go to NVIDIA, and it's a new program called Shadowplay. This was announced way, 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 way back, um, more, several months ago actually. And what Shadowplay is, is it's a piece of recording software for games and unlike other pieces of recording software, uh, like third-party software, uh, this is actually done by the GPU itself, by the graphics card. Uh, this is all within your NVIDIA card, um, usually through GeForce Experience, which if you have an NVIDIA card, you know what that is. It's a program that gives you some control over your graphics card. So everything I'm going to show here today is recorded using Shadowplay. Now, I want to make a point of saying that this is in beta still. This is still a beta release. Um, it was released uh, October 28th, I believe, and I'm just now getting my hands on it, so a little slow on that. I've been meaning to do a video, uh, but I just haven't you know, had the chance yet, and I just got a break today, so I thought I'd show some of it off. So I'm just here playing Gary's Mod. I'm going to play around with it, and I'll show Crisis 2 a bit later. But yeah, this is uh, medium settings, so just keep that in mind when you're watching. This isn't at uh, maximum recording settings and there's some reasons for that but let's talk about what shadow play offers so first of all again it's through your graphics card so it's not actually you know something that you're, you're it's not like fraps it's not external um, which means that it's using up a lot less resources it is unbelievable how much easier it is to run this than fraps fraps just eats up your resources this doesn't and <laughs> I mean, you will notice a small performance drop, but it's more like 5 to 6 frames rather than you know, 20, 30 frames that you lose with fraps. Um, for example, I record Minecraft at probably 30 frames per second, and when I'm in normal play, I'm getting anywhere from 60 to 120, depending on what my settings are. With Shadow Play on, potentially I would get somewhere around... You know, I'm thinking probably like a 10 to 15 frame drop. Now, I'm saying potentially because I don't have any Minecraft footage on here, and the reason is Shadowplay currently doesn't work with Minecraft, and again, that's why I'm showing different games. Uh, when that happens, I will you know, probably record just from that. Uh, but again, it's still in beta, so we're waiting for the full release on that. So what does Shadowplay offer besides straight up recording. It has the manual recording that you're probably used to with Fraps if you've done any of that. Uh, very similar to um, Camtasia as well uh, and it records currently only at 1080p at 60fps um, which is the only setting. Again, beta uh, it will hopefully have more settings than that. So if things look a little awkward on the screen that's also one other reason if there are black bars I'm not sure exactly how this is going to turn out. Uh, that would also be the reason, uh, because I'm not uploading at 1080p, or actually, actually I might, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll post in the description if I upload at 1080 or 720. Uh, it usually takes me too long to upload at that rate, so I try to, or to, uh, you know, comp make the video 1080p and then try to upload that. It takes too long, so I usually just do it at 720, which for me is fine when I'm playing Minecraft, but for this I might upload a little bit higher, uh, although I am playing on medium quality. Uh, but there are two very important features you know, between Shadowplay. The one is clearly the manual recording, but the other cool thing is the shadow recording, and that's really where Shadowplay's name comes in. So shadow recording occurs all the time while you're playing, and you can set uh, three different settings here. You can set it so that it doesn't shadow record, um, so that it is... Uh, let me double check. Um, yeah, you've got... Uh, shadow and manual, and then just pure shadow. Um, manual recording is exactly like fraps. You press your hotkey, and it's going to do your recording. Shadow is a lot different. So shadow, what it does is, while you're playing, it records the last five minutes of your gameplay. So when you do something cool, and you're not recording, you just hit your, um, in this case by default, it's Alt, Alt F10, you hit that key, and then it records the last five minutes and saves those. Um, or it grabs those last five minutes of recording, saves that. So if I'm recording, let's say, Minecraft again, even though it still doesn't work with Minecraft yet, say it does uh, in this situation, 
pretend hypothetical situation uh and and i'm recording and i stop recording and then i turn the corner and a creeper blows me up like that would suck because then i have to come back on camera and say oh guys you missed it creeper totally blew me up now i don't have to now i can just hit alt f10 boom there's my last five minutes of my uh shadow recording you can just leave shadow on all by itself and have it just record nonstop um, with the or just record the last five minutes. Uh, there's different amounts of timing you can have with this as well. Um, I think it caps at 20 minutes. I'm not sure. By default, it's like five minutes. And on medium settings, it's going to take under a gig to hold all of that. So that's pretty nice. And I think it's two gigs if you're on high settings. Um, Shadow and manual is what I'm probably going to use most of the time. So uh, while this is on, you'll get your you know your frame rate drop, or whatever. Just just generally playing because it's also shadow recording in the background so it's it's always recording um, but only the last five minutes so again you can kind of if you're recording manually and you stop and something happens you can just grab that last bit of recording and then there you go you've got it and you don't have to worry about losing footage that's the great thing I think about shadow play is you're never gonna have to worry about losing footage anymore because you're always going to have it. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, here's some Crisis gameplay uh, that I said. It's it's a much nicer looking game than I think uh, than I think is, is translated here. Uh, again, I'm not really running this at 1080p, um, so I'm not, I'm not recording Crisis 2 at, at 1080p. And this is a series that's really known for its uh, graphical fidelity, which is kind of too bad. And unfortunately, my monitors are kind of meh in this regard, so I usually don't bother with it because I can't really get that resolution out of my monitors anyways, uh, so I don't really care too much what it looks like. I'm more interested in do the textures look nice, do uh, the models look nice, because that's what I'm going to notice more than just pure pixel depth, uh, because again, it's, you know, I've got some crappy computer monitors that I'm playing on. Um, there is a more, there was definitely a more noticeable frame rate drop when I play Crisis 2. Um, it does push my system quite a bit harder than Carry's mod, uh, which is you know to be expected. But overall, you know, if I was running Fraps, I wouldn't expect to get, I would expect to get a lot of freeze ups and such. And I didn't watch too much of the footage uh, before I'm uploading it here. I don't think there was any stuttering. Now, when I recorded on high and I went to go record Carry's mod the first time. Uh, there was a lot of these weird glitches uh, with the with the video, and I wasn't really sure what to make of it. It was freezing up, and it was doing some odd things. So I switched it over to medium, and it seemed to work a lot better um, after you know after compiling or after saving the video, going back, checking on it. Um, I don't know if that would have gone away had I uh, stuck that in Windows Movie Player and then or Windows Movie Maker, and then tried to export it out from there uh, I'm yeah I'm not sure I'd have to play around with it some more but for now I don't really plan on using shadow play to record a lot because there isn't really anything I need to record with it uh, because I'm mostly doing like Terraria Minecraft that sort of thing uh, and of course shadow play does not work with any of those so that's a downside uh, it's something that I hope Nvidia will fix uh, well you know implement down the road but right now I'm really really excited about this program. It's a lot of fun. I actually bought an NVIDIA card for my desktop specifically because of Shadowplay. Um, you know, it probably would have been better, maybe would have been better to go with another card, but I was like, no, I need to get it with something that can use Shadowplay because I'm going to want that. And lo and behold, here we are, even though it got delayed for so long. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a really good article on this um, that's part of the TI or the GTX 780 Ti review, um, the NVIDIA's new monstrosity of a card, uh, and I'll link this article in the description. It's from Anand Tech and Antech. I'm not, I'm not really sure. It's like An and Tech. It's a weird site name, uh, and they and they do a really good job of discussing it. And they've got some uh, some pictures from Crisis 2, so that's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, it's it's a uh, or actually that might be Crisis Three. Um, it's a really cool program, and I'm I'm hoping to see more from Nvidia like this. And again, it's free, so that's the best part. You know, it's uh, that's pretty amazing. So if you do have it, 
uh, you will need a 700 card or greater and the latest driver so make sure you pick those up don't try to run this on or no, excuse me a 600 card or, or, or greater um, so if you've got a 600 series or a 700 series this is for you uh, if you've got anything below that then unfortunately you're gonna miss out and I think a lot of I think a lot of mobile cards are below that so definitely check for compatibility first if you get uh, GeForce Experience, which is another free program, it will tell you whether or not you can run um, Shadow Play. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and until next time, then. desired effect but you have to hurry those fools at the pentagon are getting ready to act